From MTN News, this is Montana This Morning. A plane reportedly missed the runway yesterday in Livingston. We have the latest in that accident right off the top. I'm Jonathan Amberian at the state capitol. Thursday was the first day for candidates to officially put their names on the ballots for the 2024 elections. I'll have a closer look at the first day of filing. Traveling in your car during sub-zero temperatures and being prepared could be the difference between survival or serious harm. I'm Joe Leesley and I'll tell you what the Bozeman Police Department says you should always travel with in your vehicle just in case you ever get into a sticky situation. I'm Joe St. George in Des Moines, Iowa. What exactly are the Iowa caucuses? We'll explain how a caucus works next. Oh. Hawkeye, Hawkeye. <laughs> I know it's the moment we've <laughs> all been waiting yes. for. It is here. Now it is 632 on this Friday edition of Montana this morning. Now typically we're excited that it's Friday. It's the end of the week, but Oh, it's a little it's chilly so, outside. And uh, it was tough getting out of bed yeah. uh, this morning. And being nice and warm and knowing how cold it was, it was outside made it a little tough. Yeah. Uh, just prepare yourself. The air temperatures are teens below zero this morning. Um, that's bad enough, but then you factor in even a light wind. We're seeing 30s and 40s below zero. Right now, 40 below in Dillon. Um, we had a report of 12 above in, near Horse Butte in West Yellowstone, near West Yellowstone. Oh, I'm heading there. Yeah. Let's go. Break out the bikinis. <laughs> yeah, uh, exactly. Looks like we're dealing with a light <laughs> snow early. Uh, it should really clear out pretty quickly. I don't expect snow to be our big issue. It's really the wind chill uh, that's going to be the biggest issue a little bit of light snow slow driving this morning just expect temperatures to be frigid uh, throughout the day wind chill values uh, likely to be in that 20 to 30 below range for most of the day today i'm going to look at, at your extended forecast coming up in just a few minutes all right thank you very much matt now right off the top this half hour yesterday in livingston a plane reportedly missed the runway Sheriff's deputies, Montana Highway Patrol, and Livingston Fire all responded to the incident. According to Park County Under Sheriff Clay Herbst, the number of people involved and severity of injuries is not yet known. All victims were transported to a nearby hospital for treatment. After the accident, an airport employee was parked at the entrance and told our MTN reporter that no one was allowed to enter the airport. And the Bozeman man, police say, was driving the car that killed 22-year-old Lysa Grewell remains in the hospital. And so far, no charges have been filed against him. Lysa was killed last Thursday after being struck head-on near Three Forks by a 23-year-old man driving the wrong way on the interstate. Now, we still do not know the identity of the suspect. MHP tells us charges are pending and the investigation into the accident is not yet complete. Lysa was killed a day before her daughter's first birthday. And according to a GoFundMe page set up to raise money for her family, Lysa was also five weeks pregnant at the time of her death. And Montana's 2024 campaigns have been up and running informally for a while now. But yesterday marked the first day candidates could take the official steps to get their names on the ballot. MTM senior political reporter Jonathan Amberian was at the state capitol for the opening of candidate filing. At 8 a.m. Thursday, these doors opened and Montana Secretary of State Christy Jacobson's office began accepting filings from candidates for the 2024 elections. The majority filed online, but many came here to submit their paperwork in person. Good morning, Good Madam morning. Secretary. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to candidate filing. The first candidate to file in person Thursday morning was State Senator Becky Beard, a Republican from Elliston, seeking a full four-year term. Wonderful. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you so much. much. Congratulations. Thank you. All right. The first statewide candidate at the Secretary of State's office was Brad Johnson, himself a former Secretary of State and running for the Republican nomination for U.S. Senate. In the first 90 minutes, 17 candidates came to the Capitol to fill out their paperwork and pay a filing fee. They included people running for Congress, three candidates for the Montana Supreme Court, and legislative candidates from all across the state. <laughs> Despite the sub-zero temperatures and blowing snow in Helena, the Secretary of State's office reported significantly more candidates filed in person on the first day than in 2022. Alrighty, thank you. By the end of the day, a total of more than 100 candidates had filed overall, including more than two dozen in person. 
Anyone who wants to run in 2024 has two more months to file. On March 11th, we'll have a full picture of who's in and who's out. In Helena, Jonathan Amberian, MTN News. And after months and in some cases years of talking about the Iowa caucuses of 2024, they are happening in just a few days on Monday. But how does a caucus work? After all, it's not a primary nor an election where people cast a ballot at the voting booth. Well, our Joe St. George has a closer look at what makes the caucuses fun and for some annoying. Iowa in January, what it lacks for in temperature, well, it makes up for in political intrigue. And part of that intrigue is just how unique the Iowa caucuses are and different from anything else in the political calendar. So what is a caucus? Well, it first involves places like a community center or a high school gymnasium. Even some restaurants are hosting caucuses this year. Caucuses happen at a specific time. 7 p.m. Central is when they begin. That means if you want to participate but work, well, you'll need to take time off. Most importantly, caucuses involve people who are assigned a particular location. 180,000 plus Iowans participated the last time Republicans had a competitive caucus, but the excitement for the candidates or even the weather can impact turnout. At every caucus site, the Republican Party has an official who is in charge. Remember, this is a political party event, not a state-run election. Caucuses usually start with speeches. In many cases, the campaigns have designated local captains to speak on their behalf. Longer speeches equal longer caucuses. After the speeches, there's a secret ballot vote. Once done, the person in charge submits the results via an app to the state party. Across Iowa, there are 1,657 precincts, so it can take some time to get a result. At stake, 40 delegates to the Republican National Convention, but it's not winner take all. In 2016, Senator Ted Cruz won the caucuses with 28% of the state, but he only got eight delegates. Former President Trump finished second that year with 24% and received seven delegates. You need around 1,235 delegates to clinch the Republican nomination. So Iowa really doesn't offer that many delegates when it's all said and done, but because it's first, it matters. And historically, if you do bad here in these caucuses, well, it could end your campaign. Joe St. George, Scripps News, Des Moines. And with these sub-zero temperatures, a drive on the road could end up being an ordeal very quickly. And MTN's Julie Salee spoke with Bozeman Police Department to find out what essentials you should travel with to stay safe. Winter weather is here and anything can go wrong while you're out on the roads. So before you buckle up, you'll want to be prepared for the worst. You just never know what kind of situation you'll be. Sometimes you'll just be driving in town, you'll have people to help you, but when you're going deep out anywhere in the state, you never know what kind of a situation you'll be put in. Michael Shannon has lived in Bozeman for four years, so he's been driving in severe winter conditions for quite some time. There's a little bit of an adjustment for me. I'm actually an out-of-stater originally. Even though he's a seasoned winter driver now, that doesn't mean accidents don't happen. Definitely, there's been a few times I've just been a, parked in not a good spot and I've had like a BMW pull me out. Kind of embarrassing, but it happens. But I pulled plenty of people out as well. Accidents like these are why Lieutenant Anthony Hutchings with Bozeman PD says you should always be prepared. We're supposed to be hitting negative 30 possibly, so it doesn't take very long for your body to go into hyperthermia. Hutchings says if you're having these items on you can be the difference between survival and serious harm. Uh, always good to have, you know, an ice scraper, a shovel if possible, either jumper cables or, um, you know, a portable jump pack. Hutchings also says to carry kitty litter or bags of sand for traction, a flashlight, blankets and jackets, a cell phone and charger, first aid kit, tire chains, water, hand warmers, and even some snacks. Hutchings says this time of year, the general maintenance of your vehicle also makes a difference in keeping you safe. But it doesn't hurt to ask yourself. If you, if you really need to go somewhere, um, if not, maybe stay home. But if you have to brave the cold. Just let people know where you're going. That way, if you don't arrive or, you know, you're overdue, that they can call, call authorities and we can come try and help you or find you, so. As for Michael Shannon, who works no matter the conditions, 
He says he'll always be prepared. I'd, I'd, I'd rather be safe than sorry. Just a case for emergencies, and not only for yourself, but helping out others on the road as well. In Bozeman, Jolie Salib, MTN News. And extreme cold can be a danger to both people and pets. And MTN's John Amy talks to experts about how you can best protect yourself and your furry friends from the coming cold temperatures. With the temperatures plummeting well below zero this weekend, it's not going to be safe to be outside for a long time. For humans and for my buddy here, Laszlo, too. Hey, you ready to go inside, buddy? So when we get to this degree of cold, uh, weather can have a significant impact on all of us, and it can happen within minutes. Just 10 to 15 minutes of exposure to temperatures dropping to 20 below can cause frostbite and hypothermia. Frostbite occurs when blood rushes from the extremities of the body to protect the core, leaving skin unprotected from the cold. Temporary damage to the tissue and the longer with the exposure, permanent damage to the tissue. So you can lose digits as a result of that cold exposure. Hypothermia can cause people to quickly lose their senses. With true extreme exposures over time, your ability to recognize that your cold disappears. And that's what puts you in, in a bit of danger. People should avoid going outside in extreme cold, but if they must, take frequent breaks. Uh, if you do feel like you're beginning to experience that exposure, come inside into a warm room. Take off any wet layers that you have. Wrap yourself up in a blanket. The cold is not only dangerous to humans, pets run a risk too. If it's too cold for you out, it's probably too cold, cool for most dogs. I mean, certainly um, Huskies, Malamutes are a little different breed, but um, you know, most, most dogs would want to come in in those kind of temperatures. Dogs and cats can suffer frostbite and even death from prolonged exposure to extreme cold. Uh, the pads of their feet are real susceptible to cold um, as well, so um, we recommend people make sure they're providing a good shelter, um, only let animals out for short periods of time in the you know, sub-zero temperatures that we're going to have. In Butte, John Amy, MTN News. All right, it is 6.43. Now we're going to take a short break, but when we come back, we're going to explore how things may be changing in the checkout aisle. I'm John Matteries. Just when it seemed that self-checkout lanes were taking over every grocery store, well, now there's a new trend. you got to hear this. That story coming. For the